What is up YouTube? Redneck Trainer here back with another video. And today is going to be pretty fun because, well, I went into my Walmart and these are getting a little bit harder to come by, so I kind of got a little greedy and grabbed the last of the hidden fates that they had in store. And, well, I'm still searching for that Shining Charizard, so I'm going to get it eventually. I've opened over 500 packs, and I still have yet to find it. And beneath me is another Great Ball Collection and Ultra Ball Collection. I'm contemplating keeping those sealed because I have opened them on the channel before, and those are especially hard to come by in my area. So I think I'm going to leave those sealed, but I'm definitely going to open these today. I've got five, and each of these has four cards, or four cards, four packs, so that's 20 packs in total. But that's not all for today. Today is going to be fun, because I am doing a giveaway of two Pokemon Sword and Shield Elite Trainer Boxes. I've got one Zacian and one Zamazenta here. And two lucky winners are going to receive one of these two boxes. So one of them will receive a Zacian box, one will receive a Zamazenta box. And, well, the first one to respond to me, when I post the winner, will get their choice of which box they get. Or if both people want a Zamazenta box, I can do that. Or if both want a Zacian box, I'll do that. Doesn't matter. I have, like... 20 of these so i'm giving these away but there are stipulations first stipulation is you must be subscribed to the channel and the second stipulation is you have to comment down below on this video what your favorite pull was as well as your first name so that i am able to verify who it was because I'm doing this giveaway in three separate Facebook groups. If you are a Pokemon collector and you are in the group, you will have seen it. But I will be announcing the winner both on my channel, on the video that coincides with 100 subscribers. That is the final stipulation of this giveaway is I have to hit 100 subscribers. And these two boxes will be given away. Each of these boxes is $40. So... It's $80 right there of free merchandise being given away. So, again, when I hit 100 subscribers, I will do both a video on here, and I will post it on each of the Facebook groups that I am in, letting someone know, hey, you're the winner. But, again, comment your favorite poll, subscribe to the channel, and leave your name in the comment as well so I can verify... It doesn't need to be first and last, just your first name or a nickname, whatever's easier, so that I can pinpoint you and say, hey, Bob, you won. So we're going to go ahead and dive into these boxes. I'm going to open these packages off screen because it's going to take too long to sit here and open this cardboard on each and every single one of these on screen. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these boxes open, stack all the packs right here in front of me, and I'm also going to have all the promo cards here. I wish there was a Charizard box at my Walmart so that I could have the large Charizard card to go with my collection. But all I had was Raichu and Gyarados. So uh, if I'm lucky, I can find the Jumbo Charizard GX card somewhere just to have the complete set. But that's it for my rambling. Let's get down here and let's get into these packs. All right, so what took you like a half a second took me about five minutes, but everything is open and taken care of down here. As you can see, I've got each jumbo card here, both Gyarados and Raichu GX, and then I also have the standard-sized Gyarados and Raichu GX, and I have tons of these. So if anybody out there is looking for these to trade or anything like that, if you don't have these cards and you're looking for a few, let me know. I have countless, countless play sets of these cards. I mean, hang on a sec. Let's see. This right here is just what's not in a binder of all promos from Hidden Fates. And I have even more than that. So if you guys are looking, let me know. 
Especially if you're in the Facebook groups that I had mentioned beforehand. So, I'm looking at all this and realizing that I opened a bunch of Hidden Fates and it's getting harder to find. So, I was thinking while I was opening the packages, if I can hit... 120 subscribers by next Saturday. That would be, let's see. Next Saturday is April the 4th. So if I can reach 125 subscribers by April the 4th, I will open both my Ultra Ball and Great Ball collections in the same video. Keep in mind, these things are $50 a piece and almost impossible to come by in my area. And they're almost twice the price online because people realize that it's getting harder and harder to find. So if you guys share these videos, share my page, hit the like button, and tell everybody you know about this channel that likes Pokemon and gets me to 125 subscribers by April the 4th, both of those will be opened up at the same time in a video and I will do another giveaway of some sort. I have plenty of merchandise, so that won't be an issue, but hit the like button, subscribe, and definitely share the channel. But that's enough of my rambling. I'm gonna get into these 20 packs of Hidden Fates to get that shiny Charizard. And I am gonna go through them a little quickly because I've done so much Hidden Fates on this channel that everyone's familiar with what the cards look like in the set and all that matters is the shinies. So, and if you see me being very careful with the packs, there is a wonderful young lady in one of the groups that I'm in that actually, let me grab my box that I'm keeping them in, that actually makes things out of used Pokemon packs. And I'm probably gonna send those off to her to make something for me. So, uh, let's get into this. We have Energy, Farfetch'd, Jinx, Meleon, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Reverse Holographic Golem for that, and the rare pull is Blaine's Last Stand. Alright. So, yeah. I've heard a lot of things about these, um about these Walmart boxes not being the best. I've heard that they're kind of garbage, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and pray that I get a shiny Charizard. We have Energy, Farfetch'd, Jinx, Misty's Determination, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Fairy, Duck, Shiny Deancey. All right, so there's the first shiny pull of the video and the rare is Raichu GX. So, yeah. Finally got a shiny. All right, I really got to find something to do with all this extra stuff on my table. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'm not even going to bother being gentle with these packs because it's going to take too much time and I've got 20 packs to open. So, forget it. Code card. All right. Energy, Gym, Exile, Trap, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, Reverse Holographic Eevee, and the rare is a Holographic Eevee. All right. Um, I'm not putting those in sleeves. I really need to put those in sleeves. <coughs> I'm all discombobulated. You know, I'm not even going to separate those. I'm just going to do this. It's worked for me every time. So, all right, I'm done talking to myself. Ah. Code card. You know, I just recently started playing the TCG online game, and the amount of code cards that I give away on this channel is astonishing. To think about how... All right, wherever that Ekans went... Coffee. To think about how built my deck would be right now with the amount of cards. Reverse Eevee and a non-holographic Weezing. 
the amount of code cards that I give away is just absolutely insane. Like, I remember there was one pack I opened off camera, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to use the code card for myself. And I got a secret rare on the online game. I mean, I don't ever get them in my videos, but I get a digital copy of it at least. So, hey, that's always a plus. All right. Energy, Scyther, Jinx, Magmar, Fairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Energy, and Bill's Analysis. It's going to sound weird, but I'm actually kind of collecting the holographic energy cards because I just think they're kind of cool to have at least one of each in the binder. It looks pretty. It looks... It, in all fairness, it does look pretty nifty on the page to have a page full of energy cards that are all holographic. So, all right. Water, Grit, Trap, Gym, Carp, Poke, Fairy, Fing, Torb, Reverse Energy, and the rare is a non-holographic Mew. So the pulls are not that great, so I'm thinking these boxes are going to be garbage. And, I mean... The most luck I've had came from the Ultra Ball and Great Ball collections. I even had really good luck in the Ultra Premium collection, which came with the fantastic Rayquaza statue. Link in the eye and in the description. But the best video I had was an Ultra Ball collection where I pulled two gold cards, as well as a handful of full arts, and just... What? An upside-down shiny gibble. And the rare is a right-side-up Erica's Hospitality. All right, so I don't know if maybe I've I've seen people talk about issues. Sorry to veer off from my last topic, but I've seen issues where people are purchasing these boxes, opening the packs and resealing them after taking out any good pulls or any good packs. So I mean I don't know about the legitimacy to that because Hidden Fates has a pretty decent crimp on them. So I don't know if that's really one that you can fake. I mean, as you saw, I got a gibble. But then again, they might just leave a few hollows in there to kind of make it seem like it's not going on. So I don't exactly know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, another holographic energy. And look at that, Misty's Water Command. I think I have like 10 of these. <laughs> Man, this Charizard, like, I want to pull it on the channel, but I'm at the point where I might just buy one to have it in the collection. But I won't count it because I didn't pull it. it it'll just be, you know, PSA graded shiny Charizard to be able to say that I have it. But at the same time, that's cheating, and I don't want to do that. Energy, Lady, Metapod, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie. Paris, Mander, Giovanni's Exile Reverse Hollow, and Brock's Training Holographic. All right. Man. These packs are opening kind of funny compared to how they normally open for me, so I am starting to think that maybe there's something up with uh, Walmart packs. Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Misty's Determination, Metapod, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Shiny, Ralts, alright, and a non-holographic Lapras. Funny enough, Shiny Ralts was actually my first Shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. And I screwed up and evolved my Corellia into a Gardevoir instead of a Gallade, forgetting that, you know... Gallade is specific to male. So, <laughs> I lost out on having both a shiny Gardevoir and a shiny Gallade. But you know what? So be it. Community day, I had a bunch of them and I was like, I'm going to evolve it. Whatever. <laughs> Energy, Chansey, Suggestion, Ekans, Paris, 
Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Reverse Cubone, and a Wigglytuff GX for the rare. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me, guys. Oh no, running low on sleeves. And as you can see, I'm currently using my uh, Zacian sleeves from my Elite Trainer box. And now, going to my Cosmic Eclipse. You know, it's kind of sad that I, I completely... On my channel, I completely skipped over Unified Minds and Cosmic Eclipse. I did one video opening where I opened an Elite Trainer box for Cosmic Eclipse, up above, and I don't think I've opened any Unified Minds unless it came in like a boxed package. So I mean, it's crazy, I remember when Unbroken Bonds came out, I went absolutely berserk trying to get the Charizard and Reshiram, Rainbow Rare, and I finally pull it when I when I'm not recording. So, I'm trying to keep up, but they're just, it's crazy how quickly a new set comes out. I mean, the next new set comes out in what, two months? Star U, let's see what the reverse. We got a reverse Jinx, and the rare is another Misty's Water Command. I mean, they're pumping out new sets so quickly, it's crazy. I mean, I heard about Unified Minds, and the next thing I know, they're like, oh, new Cosmic Eclipse. Like, it was ridiculous. I mean, I do have a bunch of Dollar Tree Cosmic Eclipse packs, so I might open those here soon. But it's just a matter of... <laughs> I jumped straight to Hidden Fates! And Hidden Fates has taken over my channel, guys. Energy, Jim, Pod, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Sabrina's Suggestion Reverse Hollow, and the rare is a non-holographic electrode. Yeah, I'm I'm really thinking that these Walmart boxes were all purchased and then returned. Because um, there's no way that out of all of these packs I've pulled... Two Shinies and... Three Shinies and two GXs. I don't know. I know, I know the odds in Hidden Fates are pretty low, but at the same time, guys, like... I've opened a lot of Hidden Fates, and the odds have never been this bad. <clears throat> Unless it's because I'm opening fewer packs, I'm thinking that. I mean, that... That is crazy. Maybe I'm just salty because I haven't gotten the Charizard yet. That's probably it. Energy, Exile, Trap, Gym, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans, Eevee... Reverse coughing, and the rare is another Raichu GX. This is not that one, but this... But he's the equivalent of the never give up Raichu because he never gives up in this. I've pulled so many of him throughout all of my videos. It's absolutely insane. Like, there are certain cards I just can't get away from. Like, when I was opening Unbroken Bonds, Dedene... Dedene GX was the one card I could not escape from, and then I found out how much they're worth, and I'm kind of glad that, you know, they kept coming. Energy, Farfetch'd, Gym, Exile, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, Psyduck, Reverse Holographic Pewter City Gym, and the rare is a non-holographic Butterfree. Alright. Man, this is bad. <laughs> like, I feel bad that this, of all videos, this is the video that I'm asking you to put your favorite pulls on in order to win packs. I mean, the pulls have not been at all anywhere that I was hoping they would be. Paris, Charmander, Clefairy. We got a reverse Jigglypuff and the rare is a non-holographic Jolteon. We have four packs left. Two of them are Mewtwo, two of them are Charizards. So, that's still one I haven't pulled either, is the shiny Mewtwo. Like, there's a lot of cards that I'm missing out of this set, guys. But the one that I want the most is obviously the Charizard, because, you know, Charizard is OP. Alright. Energy, Grit, Determination, Lady, Ekans, Dude, Bone... Eevee, 
Clefairy, Reverse Holographic Arbok, and the rare is a Holographic Zapdos. So there we go. Hopefully finishing off strong with a holo in the last four packs, every pack. All right, going to switch over to a Charizard pack. Come on. Yeah. These code cards are sticking together, and that's... Or the code card is, like, sticking to the cards in the pack, and that is not usual, so I don't know what's going on. Energy, Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Farfetch'd, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Misty's Cerulean Gym, and the rare is Bill's Analysis. Down to two packs. Charizard versus Mewtwo. Blam! I'm saying this has the shiny Mewtwo in it, this has the shiny Charizard. Huh. Well, that was weird. I pressed down on this pack and I felt air come out of the top of it. Weird. Really, really weird. <laughs> I'm going a little slower because these are the last two packs, so. Code card. Alright. I need a shiny Pokemon or a GX. Energy, Misty's Determination, Metapod, Charmeleon, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Erica's Hospitality Reverse Hollow and the rare is Misty's Water Command. Do -do -do -do. And then there was one. One final pack of Hidden Fates. It's really weird. Like, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, if it's gonna pick it up at all. But there's like a crease running down the center of this card like it was over crimped in the machine. That's kind of weird. But uh, here's the code card for everybody. All right. Energy, Graveler. Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Reverse Holographic Blaine's Last Stand, and a Non-Holographic Electrode for the final pack of Hidden Fates. Well, you know what? Ah, I haven't broken into these in a little bit, so I'm going to do a little bit of Sword and Shield real quick. Just to kind of get the mojo flowing a little bit better. I don't know how many I grabbed. But this video was for a giveaway. So you know what? I'm just going to rip into these and hope for the best. Because this video needs to be good. And for those of you that don't know, Dollar Tree packs come with three cards. Your rare pull is going to be in the middle if you get one. So we got Joltik, Salandit, and Drizzile. And these are going to go really, really fast. So I do apologize for that, but it also depends on how long it takes me to get the packs open. We have a Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, and a Poke Kid. All right. It's been a while since I've opened Dollar Tree packs, and I forgot how much fun these are. And the weird thing is, like, Diglett, Scorpy, Energy. I'm going to grab one Cosmic Eclipse pack, so bear with me here. Cosmic Eclipse. I noticed it when I was in the store. The packs felt a little bit thinner. This is a Dollar Tree Cosmic Eclipse. This is a Dollar Tree Sword and Shield. Let me know if you spot the difference. You know what? I'm going to open another Sword and Shield first as a reference. Let 
We have Wooloo. Look at that. A reverse holographic lucky egg and an energy card. So that was Hidden Fates. Or er, Hidden Fates. <laughs> huh. That was Sword and Shield. This is Cosmic Eclipse. Let me know if you see the difference here. We have a Snow Runt, a Coughing, and Clay. Oh, look at that. An extra card inside. Why they did that, I have no idea, but they did. Uh, yeah. So, I thought that was really weird. They don't do it in Sword and Shield, so I don't know if they're going to do it with the next set. Blitbug, Bell Toy, Rotom Bike. But these packs are always so fun because it's a dollar. You don't know what you're going to get. You have the chance of getting a Hyper Rare. Sinistee, look at that. A Reverse Holographic Inteleon. Boom, for a dollar. You never know what you're going to pull when it comes to a Dollar Tree pack. Like, I've pulled Secret Rares. And I've pulled Full Arts out of Dollar Tree packs. But the problem is, at Dollar Tree, it's easy for people to go in and weigh packs and pick and choose what packs they want. Meowth, Score Bunny, Hop. So it gets a little unfair sometimes. I've actually walked into a Dollar Tree to pick up packs before and somebody was in there with a scale weighing the packs. And I was like, seriously, bro? Like, do what everybody else does the proper way. And look at that, a reverse rare Corviknight. Galarian Lanoon. Do what everybody else does and get your pulls fair and square. It's that simple. Like, don't ruin it for the rest of everybody else because the people that are out there weighing packs are the ones that are Chincho, look at that, Krogunk, and Energy. But the people out there weighing packs are the ones that are sitting there finding cards and flipping them for obscene amounts of money. We got Mancino, Masharna, Non-Holographic Rare, and a Reboot. And then the final pack here. We have a Mancino. There we go. Finishing off strong with a holographic Rhyperior from a Dollar Tree pack. Like I said, you don't know what you're going to get. And it's amazing. So that is it for today's video. I'm glad I did that to finish off strong. I mean, the pulls weren't bad. They could have been better. I guess I'm just... I don't know, I have a bias opinion, I suppose, because I've opened so much Hidden Fates that it seems unreal that I'm not going to get a shiny. I mean, every Hidden Fates video I've done, I've pulled at least one full art shiny variant, and in this one, not a single one out of 20 packs, that's just under a booster box worth, so... I don't know. I, like I said, it might be just a bias opinion. There were a lot of duplicates, but then again, I have heard that the Walmart boxes are garbage. Um, I don't know why specifically Walmart boxes are garbage, but I mean, that that's what I pulled. But I can't complain too much because, you know, cards are cards. I'm always one step closer to a master set. It doesn't matter if it's a holographic or not. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, guys, but, I mean, the sheer amount of Hidden Fates that I have in bulk is crazy. So if there's a, I highly doubt this, but if anybody out there is looking for commons and uncommons for Hidden Fates for, like, a deck or something like that, I mean, I have an abundance somewhere, yeah. I'm sure you can probably see these two stacks over here are nothing but Hidden Fates, and I don't know what I just did with the stack that I had in my hand just now. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day because I'm going crazy. I'm going absolutely crazy. Oh, wait, no, the other stack was uh, Sword and Shield. But that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Remember to comment down below what your favorite pool was with your name if you want to be entered into the raffle. Well, not raffle, but the giveaway. Ooh, excuse me. And remember, share, 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 share. Share the page, share the content, get the name out there, because if you do, and I reach 125 subscribers, I'm going to go ahead, and like I said, both of these, you know what? Because I'm done on the table. Woo! I'm right here now. Because I'm done on the table, I'm going to be right here. 125 likes, 
or 125 subscribers, I'm sorry, and these will both be opened on my channel. Over $100 worth of merchandise right here, guys. And I've got plenty of content coming. Lots and lots and lots of content coming. I have a lot of Sword and Shield to open. I have a few more boxes to open. And even better, I've got a lot of Shining Legends to open to try and finish that master set. I'm that close to finishing it, but that is that. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button, comment down below. And if you're in the Facebook group, definitely hit a like. Let me know that you entered. That way it makes it a little bit easier on me. I could be like, okay, well, this person's on Facebook. Or this person's in this group, this person's in that group. So it, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of sort it out, I guess is the best way to put it. This is my first giveaway on the channel, but there will be many, many, many more. And good luck to all of you who enter. Hopefully you guys are the winner and I will take care of everything on my end for it so you don't need to worry about anything. The only thing I'll need from you if you do win is your mailing address. That is it. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and you take it easy.